So for the holidays this year, I'm imagining a lot of people might take the chance to go out and buy their first really good French brandy. Maybe an Armagnac, maybe Delore 25. Good choice. Uh, you know, maybe it's some small independent cognac maker, right? And, you know, they, they look at this in the store. They're a little unsure because they, they usually go with bourbon, but they're going with this. They're going to be brave. And uh, then they get it home and uh, they're ready to try it out, ready to see, you know, how their exploration has, has treated them. And then they have to ask themselves, what, how the hell... Do I get this wax off of here? Uh, so I thought I would do a quick public service announcement to, uh, to show you how to get the wax off there. Um, so this is, the occasion for this is uh, off-premise. One of the retail stores here in Chicago just did a crazy sale on a couple of Lynn Cantata picks, and I grabbed some. And uh, uh, so I'm going to demonstrate on these. You, you will notice the wax, this bit of the wax, uh, Kind of came off, so that's hanging pretty loose there. But never mind, carry on. All right, how do you do this? How the heck do you get this off there? So you're staring at this thinking, okay, there's got to be like a little Maker's Mark style string. I can just pull around and then the thing comes off, right? But you're looking for it. It's not there. So you realize you actually have to get through this in order to get the, the cork off. Um, okay, so what do you do? You might be tempted to break out like a hammer and chisel or something. Do not do that. Do not do that because the result will be um, a bunch of wax chips and wax dust all over the room uh, and you will be very angry and cross with yourself that you ever ventured away from bourbon and I do not want you to feel that way. The proper way to do this is to cut around the wax uh, in order to lift the cork off. All right, and let me demonstrate. All right, you will need a crappy knife. All of you have a crappy knife that you kind of keep around because you're worried a guest might show up and you don't have enough knives. That is the occasion to use, this is the occasion to use that knife. Now what you want to do is to heat this knife up. So I'm going to take my coffee cup, put my knife in it, and pour some near boiling water in from the kettle here. There we go. And give that a second. So, oh, oh, um, so the uh, the technique I'm going to deploy here really only works um, on the uh, replaceable corks, the one you can like like in every other bottle in the world that you can just pull off and put back on. Some brandies uh, will use a wine cork, which is just straight down um, into the into the bottle and into the neck, and you just kind of have to get that out with the corkscrew. And there's really no replacing those. So this is why you have extra corks lying around. Yes, it's a pain in the butt. I'm sorry. I'm so it's that's just France. Uh, sometimes you do that. So in that case, just to take a corkscrew, go straight through the the wax on the top, pull the pull the damn cork out, and then throw it out and put a put a different cork in. All right. Uh, enough of my yapping. This knife should now be hot enough. So okay. <clears throat> so there's there is a little. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a little hump right there which is where the removable cork kind of enters into the glass that is where you want to cut so you can do a couple rounds of this but what all i'm going to do uh try to make this visible let's push my hot knife through the wax hopefully i'm kind of ah, 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 too, too far do not cut your cork in half as I was trying to do there. Just a little more. Okay, that should do it. And off it comes. And that's all there is to it. Uh, be wary, there will be a li still a little bit of wax dust uh, and stuff floating around. Do not let that get into your beautiful bottle of brandy. But that's really it. Simple as that. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this is useful. And uh, that is what that should look like. And uh, cheers.